Okay, man. Be safe. Thor. help your mother, did it? Hey Barry, how's it going? Oh yeah, good, considering you're trying to ruin my life and drag it to hell every chance you get. Training with the green arrow. I'm on it. What do you want? I just wanted to say well done. You're turning to quite the skilled hero. What do you want? I won't ask a third time. I heard you fooled the plan of the new you. How many versions are you of though again? That heartwarming speech, it really... Oh, I really pulled at the old dead and gone heartstrings. I don't know what you're planning, but I will find out. Oh no, <laughs> Barry! <laughs> Oliver Queen would be so disappointed! Rushing headfirst into things? You wanna fight? What I want is you gone from my life. Lovely plan, lovely, but uh, we both know that I'm a part of you just as much as you are part of me. Let me tell you a story. The Ballard of Eobard Thorne. The hero of Central City. As it should be. As it should be? That's funny. You have to earn the right to be a hero. Like you. My tale is one of a heroism in the face of a life torn apart. You! You destroyed a whole university from your lack of thinking. Thanks to James Jesse. Nice work on Christmas. By the way, that was cold. See, when you think about it, Barry, Savitar, he's a better version of you. He doesn't hide behind a red fancy costume. He owns his darkness. True, but does he know you've been playing him? Does he know that you were actually the one that destroyed his world, not me? Details don't matter, Barry, they never have. You may have escaped death so far, but when I get you exactly where I want you and my plan comes together, you're going to get exactly what you deserve. We'll see about that. On Pat? I have, in fact, I have some promising leads about your stepdad, aka Stripesy. What have you got? Well, you were right. The last time he was seen was in Central City, but he never left Central City, and he's 
nowhere to be found in Central City. The last person to say they saw anyone of that description said he disappeared engulfed in black smoke? The Shade. The Shade? That's a good name. Cisco would be proud. The Shade is part of the old ISA. He's charming in a weird way. But if he's got Pat, they're in the Shadowlands. The Shadowlands? Where's that? <laughs> Only the Shade can get you in. Or someone with his powers. Eclipso is, so that's a no. Hang on. Surely the, the Shadowlands could be got into, I don't know, by a speedster? Barry, no. I got trapped there for a week. It was a living nightmare. Courtney, it could be the only way to get Pat back. You better promise me you'll be safe. Courtney? Courtney? What the hell? What is going on? Not very covert, are you? If I didn't want you to see me, you wouldn't be able to. Where's Barry? He hasn't spoken to you yet, I told him. He's been involved in some shady dealings. Barry? Shady? No way. He's literally more of a straight arrow than the green arrow. He's been involved in two unsolved murder cases. Well, he's a CSI, of course he has. If you think a sense of loyalty is going to get Barry off the hook, then you're going to take yourself down with him. Listen here, you may be some hotshot in Gotham, but here in Central City, you're just a rich kid with a god complex. You're about as threatening as Oliver Queen. Thanks for the input. Okay, now this is even weirder. My old bedroom before I moved into mom and dad's to feel closer to them. Updated, for some reason. But this dude... Really is like childhood all over again. Why the hell am I here? Why is this place trying to toggle? Who the hell's that?
Courtney. This wasn't here before. This isn't my mind. Shadowlands. Hello, Barry. Who's there? Do you like my home? Yeah, it's very noir in here, isn't it? Why am I here? I'm afraid to know the answer to that. You must first escape yourself. What does that mean, Shade? Yeah, I worked it out. Courtney's descriptions. Shade, right? Shadowlands? Good day to you, Barry. I hate when people just up and disappear on me. Damn it. Forwards. Dibney, how nice to see you. Savitar, stay away from me. I'm not Savitar. It took me a minute with the walking and the talking, but I am not Savitar. I'm merely using his body. But I thought you'd have figured that out by now. My name is Eobard Form. I'm the Reverse Flash. Isn't it obvious? Reverse Flash? Why do you look like Barry? I know you're the Reverse, but this is creepy. It was, how would you say, vital to my scheme. I'm still struggling with the accent a bit, but I think I'll get there. It was you who blew a hole in Cord Industries wearing Barry's face. Does your partner know you've been framing him? Savitar is on a need-to-know basis, and right now he doesn't need to know. I'm here for you, Dibs. Because I hear you've been cooking up a serum to create metagenes, and that's a bit of a problem. How did you know? I think Barry must have forgot to tell you that I control this new world, this flash point that I've created. And I could say that I'm God. Do you want the serum? Why? You have powers? Ralph, I don't want the serum. I have no need for it and I'm not here to ask your help. But you see, my plan doesn't involve creating a brand new metahuman to become an issue for me and Savitar. And that is a big issue, isn't it? Because one thing that Team Flash does all the time, no matter who's there, they always pick, pick, pick. So I'm here for one reason. So, you're gonna kill me? It's not personal, Dibs. It's just if there's one thing I like more than anything, to kill Barry's friends and family and the reason I'm wearing this face is because the last person that I want you to see 
as you die is the person you've pledged your allegiance to. <laughs> so sorry, Dibs. But now you're gonna die. <laughs> I know you. The rich kid with dead parents. What did you do to my speed? Neutralized it. It's a fair fight, man. It's never a fair fight. <laughs> <laughs> More clowns. <laughs> you little bitch. <laughs> Bruce Wayne, you look different without your cape. <laughs> the history books say you live to be 86. I guess the history books are wrong. Game's up, boy. You're lucky. I don't have plans for you yet. Alfred, prepare the suit. I'm taking Flash down. Zoom? Flash, fancy seeing you here. Must be another Shadowlands trick. You shouldn't exist. When you took my speed, you exiled me. To this place, I have been lost ever since. So by taking your speed, you ended up here then, yeah? Because you can't exist in two different timelines, so you went somewhere in the middle. Now you are here, I will take my revenge, and I will kill you. In the old timeline, you took wells from me. Made me... Yeah, that broke me pretty bad that I thought I ran back in time, but I can't help but feel a little bit sorry for how pathetic you are. You did this to me. You left me here to die. No speed, no life, just stuck in this crappy little place forever. And this might not be very heroic of me, but you deserve it. I will get out of here one day, and I will end you for good. If that day ever comes, I'll send your ass straight back. Okay, nice, nice. So, at least my home exists in the Shadowlands. 
Now this is trippy mate. Hello? Whoa, this... No, this is trippy. I don't remember wearing a trench coat, blonde hair, tie. I don't remember looking like Tom Williams' love child. Whoa, dude, what's with the insults? Chill. Oh, I'm not really here. I'm back in the real world. The real world? I'm here because I'm looking for the shade. You can travel through multiverses like, and I'm on a mission. You could say a mission from God, but we both know better than that, don't we, mate? You must be a doppelganger. So you're another Barry Allen from a multiverse? Not quite. My name is John Constantine. I'm a master of the dark arts. John Constantine? The street magician? Hell, you're awful. Maybe in your world, mate. But in my world, I'm a demonologist, exorcist, and full-time idiot. I forgot I can't say anything bad here. Fun. So what, you chill here? Ah, it's not the worst place I've been, mate. Trust me, you should try Manchester on a Friday night. I'm trying to find a way out of this place. I have to, to get back to my own time and place. Oh, good luck with that, mate. There is no way out of here unless, uh, well, the shade allows it. Oh, what? So you're not going to help your doppelganger, please? Nah, mate. I don't think I will, to be fair. I'm on my own mission here. But good luck, though. Hey, man, what's your damage? Why are you such a... Asshole. Even in the shadow lines, they know me. Fine. Well, it was not pleasant meeting you, John Constantine. Constantine. Whatever. Sorry, buddy. It's not time for us to join forces yet, mate. Soon, though. Soon. I need a fag. Oh. If my day wasn't bad enough, and back in this thing, what? What? Closer. Sabotar? No, he's dead. I'm you, Barry. From the future. Oh, please don't tell me we get trapped here forever. I just, I cannot take that right now. No, I'm just the Shadowland showing you with the future. Your future. Why? Isn't there some, like, I don't know, law? in time travel that means that we can actually ever speak to one another without causing an imbalance in the timeline or something that well said anyway. He's dead. And Oliver and Ralph. I don't believe you. How did they even die? I killed them. It's a funny story. No, no. This is the Shadowlands messing with my life and my mind. I won't have it. One day... You will accept true power like never before. And everyone in your life will pay the price for the ultimate speech that will be born. Bullshit. I'll never let that happen. Oh, you just wait. You think Fawn and Savitar are the villains? You just wait until they see the beautiful monster that you become. For the crisis to end, you must accept this power, or the Crimson Verse will split open like an egg. Okay, slow down. What is a Crimson Verse? Crimson Verse? What's that? 
strands of different possibilities and choices played out, but not a multiverse. In a multiverse, there are unlimited numbers of events. The Crimson Verse is small, defined by the same people made by different choices. Sounds like a multiverse to me, pal. If the Crimson Crisis is allowed to spread, then it will not be just you that suffers, but John, the Doctor, Sherlock, Arrow, Peacemaker, they will all die, and the Crimson Verse will fall. That sounds like rubbish fan fiction. Maybe it is. Enjoy the days you have left, Barry. No! I refuse to believe any of that. And I'm gonna get out of here and prove you wrong. Get out of here. Fuck. What are you doing in the Shadowlands? I think this is the part of the story where you face your fears. Wait, not for long, right? I have to admit, I'm on it. But you're right. I'm not for. I'm not scared of you. Maybe not. You are afraid of what this face and this costume represents. Loss. How could I not be? How could I not be scared of losing everyone that I, I love, my friends, what little I have left of my family? You took everything from me. Well, Earbard did. So every time I look at him, it's just hate. I've taken more from you than anyone else has. Zoom took Wells. I took you down. I've taken your worlds, your life, and I have twisted it into my own little playground just to screw you up. Whatever the real fawn is planning, I will stop it. I will stop you. The Shadowlands are a confusing, abstract place. I may not be the physical form, but I am form. At least, the way the Shadowlands realize your fears into a physical form like me. I've wasted enough of my life fearing you. For what you've done to me, you made me think my parents were alive. You killed them in the first place. You created this, this world to hurt me. I can never forgive you for any of that. But I can do one thing, the pain the anger, the rage that I have for you. I can let it go. So this is me letting you go and I will stop you. Great speech. I've been so few yet. I'm getting out of here, Shade. One way or another. Try and stop me. Come on, where's the way out? Come on! Blast! Oh, Zoom, not you again. You're not going anywhere. Enough! I should have done what I should have done when I first got here. Oh! 
Don't get trapped here too long, Alan. Find a way back. Bring me back. Bring me home. Shade? Come on, I know it's you. I know you're here. Face me. Why the hell are you doing this to me? You and Miss Whitmore are meddling in things you don't understand. Oh, what? Courtney's trying to find her stepdad. Oh, yeah, that doesn't concern us at all. I assure you, Mr. Dukin is perfectly fine. We are old friends. Oh, so keeping Pat trapped here, that's friendly? Oh, he's not trapped. He's here willingly. And how the hell do I know that? I'm not the enemy, Barry. You need to tell Miss Whitmore that she needs to focus on what remained of the ISA. And you need to get rid of the Reverse Flash before Pat can return. Fawn. His reverse flashpoint has disrupted the entire Shadowlands. Until this timeline is destroyed, none of us can go home. So I'm stuck. You may return with what's left of my strength. However, if you and Stargirl keep trying to find Pat before the flashpoint is undone, then you shall all be in the right shit. Well, why should I trust you? Oh, Mr. Allen. You have no choice. You serve a far greater purpose than the Speed Force. The Crisis. You are the savior of Crimson. Oh yeah, that Crisis in what I'm supposed to accept ultimate power to, to save the day and die? You need to go now. Yeah, no, I don't think so. My hold on the real world is fading. Well, I don't care, shut up. I've had enough recently. A fawn and Savitar trying to tell me I'm not going back to the real world empty handed. You're giving me Pat now. There's no time. No, I don't care. Now. You're gonna give him me now. Barry. <sighs> you okay? We zoned out. Where did you go? I'm back. You were right here. I was in the Shadowlands. Are you sure? Pat's alive. Pat is alive. Trust me. He's there voluntarily, apparently. He, he actually went. Uh, of his own accord. Something to do with Christ? I, I don't know. I've, I've got to go. You can't go after saying all that. I've got to. If I want to save Pat, I've got to stop falling. Once and for all. Need a hand? No, 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 no. <laughs> you stay with the JSA and you clean up the ISA, because otherwise we'll have a bigger problem than that. But I've, I've, I've got to go. But I promise, Courtney, I will bring him home. You better, Alan. I'm back. Now I'm back. But her mommy is yelling no. And her daddy has told her to go. Am I ever going to get home? But her friend is nowhere to be seen. Now she walks through her sunken dream To the seats with the clearest view And she's hooked to the silver screen But the film is a sad thing for For she's lived it ten times or more She could spit in the eyes of fools And say ask her to focus on It's a freaky shallow Take a look at the 